Yeah. All right, do uh. You got us on Facebook. Yeah, got us on Facebook. Uh, yeah, you four or five? Five. I'm at number six. Number six. Oh, you answer that every time. Get ready to check right quick. All right, number six is live and on the air. It's like you didn't cut yours off yet. No, I did, man. Somebody steady calling me. Pastor Steve Hall. Sending me something. Yeah, we did it right on the money, man. Let me see. All right. All right, so we got that, that. We got every last day we're going. Test one, test one, two. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. What the world are you out there doing? They think about talking all crazy. And we're fixing to start a broadcast, all of our Facebook right. listeners. We're sticking to bust this thing wide open. We're going to talk about New Jerusalem. Just hang on. You're going to hear it. Here it comes. As soon as my brother RPI gets over there and does a switch over, we're going live around the world. Thanks for listening to 99.9 WUCC, The Voice of Truth. I am Pastor Steve Hall from the Johnston Church of God, welcoming you to our show called In the Last Days. It starts right here. It starts right now. So buckle down. Here we go. And sitting behind the control desk driving this big old ship of Zion is my friend and brother, RPI. Good to see you, brother. It's good to be back. We are back, Jack. Yes, sir. I had a really, really, really full week here. Uh, Pastor Steve, he, he, he added more to my week. I had uh, Brother RPI preach for me at the Johnson Church of God this past Sunday while me and my wife were on a mini vacation with our two lovely granddaughters. Yep. Then I had to preach at my church at Wednesday night Bible study, and I went to visit United Church of God. Pastor, uh-oh, that is not good. I don't remember. Uh-oh, blackout. Pastor, last name is, is uh, Gore. I know his last name is Pastor okay. Gore. And uh, went there to visit the church, and he told me to preach because he's been listening to us on the radio, brother. Amen. Glory to God. You just getting doors opening up everywhere, brother. Hey, 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 brother. Listen, anybody want me, anybody out there that hear RPI, you want RPI bring the word? I used to be scared, but God said, I didn't give you a spirit of fear. He said, I give you the spirit of boldness. And I ain't talking oh, about Oh, yeah. Boldness. Well, go ahead and put your number out there and see how many phone calls you get. That'll put the bonus on you. No, I get them crazy folks called in. I, yeah. <laughs> I would, you have I to would, deal with them too, bro. Yeah, I would give my number. Last time I did that, I had three of them call me in and I had this. No, nah, I, I don't feel like dealing okay. with that. So if you do want to, you know, RPI to come bring the word, which RPI would never advertise it, I would pray first, ask God if that's what you want him to do, me to come by. You can uh, call here at the radio. Do we do we have a, another alternative number here at the radio station? We do. Is is that it right there? No, that's testimony. What is the other number there? We'll have to get to it later. I, yeah. I can't. I don't I, have it right don't, on top I of my tongue right here. Head. So yes. anyway, we want to tell our listeners out there, thank you for listening. I uh, want you to have a very Merry Christmas. But stay tuned for this next hour because uh, we're going to forget Christmas for an hour because we are going to Jerusalem. That's right. Come on and go to Jerusalem with us. But the, the focus of our show tonight is, is not just what's going on in Jerusalem, but the new Jerusalem that we're going to. That's right. You see, we're getting through the old Jerusalem right now. As a matter of fact, you know, I say that with, with a happy spirit because all of these are the birth pains. And what's going to be birthed is a new kingdom upon the earth. And that new kingdom will be ruled and reigned over by Jesus Christ for a thousand years. And that new Jerusalem will come down from heaven. And listen, a new Jerusalem is a city that is prepared. It will land in the exact place where Jerusalem is right now. And that will be the capital for a thousand years where Jesus will stay and rule and reign. But before we talk about New Jerusalem, we're going to tell you a couple of ways we can listen to it. And yeah. I want to get a shout out to uh, uh, um, uh, Josh Child and, and Mary Hunt. Mary Hunt is calling from, Can is it? Is that how you pronounce that, Cana? I can't see. Is that Canaan? RP I ain't good with, see right there, say Cana, Canaan. I don't see it, bro. Uh-oh, right there at the bottom of it. Right there at the bottom I of it. I can't see it. C Try me again. C C N C C A N A A N. Canaan. Canaan. Where is that at? I don't know. That's, and, and that, I know it's not here. Not the one in Palestine. I'm sure not over there in Israel. That's not that Canaan's land. I don't know. But, you know, I just want to give a shout out. People, people call, they come in there and they, 
they um they they listen to us and they thank you for fun. listening from Canaan. You know, thank you so thank much. Thank you. That is tell awesome. them how to get in touch. How, tell us how. Well, tell listen. them how to listen. All, all the right. ways we've got. Well, here's a couple ways you can listen. One way that you can listen, what you listen to right now, if you live in a local area, which is in uh, Augusta, Georgia, or Aiken, South Carolina, Orangeburg, in those areas, you listen to WCC ninety nine point nine, or you can go. And listen to us on the internet. So if you're going into the mall and doing your little shopping, you can go to www.cwchrist.com. And on the right-hand side of that screen, you can listen to us live. Or if you're a Facebook uh, Facebook person that love going on Facebook, you can see me see us live, which is uh, Patrick Isaac, P-A-T-R-I-C-K, Isaac, I-S-A-A-C. I got it set for world. Why? So, say, Vince, you say, well, I don't want to go through all the RP. I just want to go straight to y'all internet website. Well, here's how you do that. You go wcc.streamon.fn. Let me say that one more time. It's wcc.streamon.fm. That'll take you straight to our internet service, and you can listen to us from there. So, and if you are listening tomorrow around about Two o'clock is a rebroadcast. We appreciate you calling in, but nobody here to be take your, to take your call. call. Hey, so got a great song to go with our topic tonight, New Jerusalem. This is the Hoppers, and they're going to sing about this New Jerusalem, and then we're going to get started on our presentation tonight. So let's play that famous footage. Hey, man, here we go. Could not be hid, John saw this city. Oh, yes, he did. John caught a glimpse of the golden throne. Tell me all about it. Go right on around the throne. He saw a crystal sea. There's got to be more. What will it be? I want to go to that city he saw. New Jerusalem. But he did not see night. The Lamb of God, well, he must be the light. And he saw the saints so worship the great I Am. And cry, worthy, worthy is the Lamb. I want to go to that city he saw, New Jerusalem. I want to 
Glory to God. Hey, listen, I'm going to Jerusalem. Y'all to come and go with me. That's right. I'm that, going. I don't know when, either in the flesh or in the spirit, but I'll be going soon. Jesus Christ is coming soon. And uh, if you are ready, you get to go see Jerusalem that is above, and then you'll come back after that seven years of gr- glorious feasting at the table of God, enjoying the marriage supper of the Lamb. Come on now, bro. Then you'll come back, and the city will descend from heaven. A city that God has made, and it's going to set right where Jerusalem is right now. It's going to land, boof, just like that. Ooh. Just like that, brother. And a new Jerusalem will be there. And Jesus Christ will rule from Jerusalem. And, brother, for a thousand years, we will rule and reign with Christ over the whole wide world. Come on now. That's the devil like will be chained. There will be yeah, no more trials, right, be no a more thousand tests. Years, he won't a be thousand years, he won't do nothing. Brother, we are going to repopulate, rebuild this world, <laughs> and it's going to be glorious because we're going to be going in and out of the city of God in Jerusalem. You can tell I'm excited. I'm ready to get all this mess that we're in right now behind us. Jerusalem is in a mess, and we're going to start right there. We're going to go from a mess to a miracle. We're going to go from the mess that Jerusalem is, and we're talking about a miracle that's going to happen there. Amen. Hey, man, now, this is, now that, that's what I'm talking about. So let's do a little quick shout-out because RPI ain't good at this. This is probably going to be the last time you do it. We're going to get shout-out to Brenda Hall, Mary Han, Joseph, Joseph Welp, Stephen Coates, Pastor Jesse Bills, how you doing? Uh, Sarah Bennett, Brent, uh, Richard Russell, uh, Fat Bread, Hazen Hees, my barber, what's up? Uh, Jeanette Coleman, uh, Janet Trawler, uh, Sister Bigham, how you doing? And Regina Whitelow. Thank you so much for Thank tuning in and listening yeah, to right. our show. So, so we're talking about Jerusalem. It is believe it's, it's unbelievable what has happened around Jerusalem and in <laughs> Jerusalem since our president got on national television and said that we will move our embassy from Tel Aviv into Jerusalem in the next few years. It takes a while to get all this done, y'all. You can't snap your fingers and build an embassy. And what that means is when you put an embassy in a place, guess what? That is American soil. Yep. Did y'all understand that? When when we put the embassy in Jerusalem, it will be America's soil. If you're ever in that place of Tel Aviv right now, you can go into as an American, the American embassy, and take refuge there as an American citizen on American soil. That's right. And so it will be, my brother, when we get that thing built in Jerusalem, that the United States of America will have a stake in the holy city of God itself. I like what it represents. It represents our nation joining itself to Israel to help protect, to defend, to, to, to be a partner in this world against all the enemies, foreign and domestic. We'll be there. That means a lot for me. Now, I'm not saying this, the United States now is the best thing that's ever happened. I'm just nah. saying we made a good move. Yes, sir. We and did. let's keep going in that direction. We're going to see what happens. We're going to see. And, oh, yes. And, you know what? Um, we got a little video we may may not play. I don't know. But it talks about different events. One of the things that it talked about all the presidents saying how they're going to do this. And they didn't do it. And, and our uh, Trump. president got in there and did that. So it is a awesome thing to see that. Um, my thing is, is I'm kind of still want to watch and see what happens. Oh, yeah. Because, because they got a war going on. There's right a now. backlash. Yes. But, you know, this was expected because they said that if uh, America was going to move its embassy into Jerusalem. Yeah. And and the other thing that's really significant here, here is that President Trump on live television said that we represent we uh, respected Israel as a sovereign nation. And what the Palestinians won't do is recognize Israel's 
uh, sovereignty as a nation. That's they right. refuse to accept them in Jerusalem or in their ter- what they call their territory. They uh-huh. said it is theirs, and they say that the Jews are occupiers. In other words, they come and took Palestinian land and, you know, told the Palestinians where to go and how to get to off of Israel it. for over 3,000 years. Well, you know? all these years, exactly right. It's you the know, promised land the promised that God land. gave to them. But the Palestinians do not re- uh, recognize the promise as given to Abraham and his descendants, That's which right. are the Gentiles, I mean, yeah, excuse me, right. which are the Jews. But uh, what's happening there, of course, is, uh, you know, they're just denying what the Bible teaches about the Jews. That is their homeland and i can understand where they're coming from because they want it all back that's right they were there and then the jews got the right to come back in 1917 the balfour act and then you come to 1947 48 when they were given it after world war ii Mm -hmm. they moved back on the property then you come to 1967 they had the six-day war and they gained all of jerusalem and a lot of the surrounding area and the palestinians wanted all back because they said you came in here and took it all over we want you to leave and you we're not going to recognize you as a nation we won't even deal with you as a nation. So that's the reason that agreements don't work because you can't make an agreement between two nations if you don't acknowledge that Israel is a nation. So what I'm saying is when President Trump got on television and he, as one of the most powerful leaders in the world, probably the most powerful leader in the world at this moment, when he got up there and recognized Israel, it blew the top off of demonic uh, strongholds everywhere. That's right. Couldn't take it. They, right. the, the demonic realm rose up. Somebody said, how do you know demonic realm all rose up? Because well, the people all, the resp- people's, they bad at fighting. <laughs> the <That's> the <laughs> people started doing devilish things. That's right. They started trying to kill each other. They started burning down flags of America, uh, yeah. flags of Israel. They burned the pictures of, of, of our President Trump, Benjamin Netanyahu. They stomped on it, and they said, guess what? We had enough of this. We're all getting together. And right now, well, as we speak, my brother, Mm-hmm. The nations, the uh, Islamic nations surrounding Israel are gathering together and making their plans. On YouTube today, I learned some things. Oh, and yeah. Some of the things I learned today was these nations are coming together like never before, We're talking about the Islamic nations, to try to destroy Israel because of what's going on. Uh, you know, it may fizzle out in a, in, in a, in a week or two, but right yeah. now, this Jerusalem is a boiling pot. And everybody's touching it and getting burned right now. And they are upset, my brother. Yeah, they upset, man. They protesting. They burning American flags. They upset. They, I mean, they are extremely mad. And my thing is like, you know, you you can't you can't change the order of God. I'm sorry. That I mean, if if God allowed cause see, we gotta understand God is in control over everything. Yes. He allowed good and bad things to happen. He allowed us to happen. They have to deal with it. Now, I don't heard, you know, for as they all upset, even from Asia, all the way from Africa. I've heard that around the world. All around the world. Going. All the Muslims are upset because yeah. they never claim that Jerusalem would be, uh, would be as a, the, you know, the capital of Israel. And then when he make it worse, you want to put America embassy right there. So that going to make it even worse. Yeah. It's a, <laughs> Get them all bent out of shape and tore up about it. But. Listen, God did it. Ain't nothing you can do about it. You know, That's right. Just got to deal with it. But I guess they seen it in another way. My thing is, is this. Where do we go from there? Now we got that. That happened. This happened. How do we maintain? How do we get the gospel spread? It Because there's people in, in, in Israel don't believe that Jesus was the son of God. What well, they call it? The, um, the Orthodox, 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 Orthodox Jews. Jews yeah. you know, my they're bitch, still in the Old Testament. They, and yeah, they they're will, still in the Old Testament. They, they're... They're gonna rebuild that temple, brother. Yeah. They're gonna have si- they're gonna have sacrifices just like they did under the law of Moses, and that's what that sect of those people there. But you know, Jerusalem is really a melting pot. You got three major religions of the world: you got Islam, you got Christianity, and you got Judaism. Yeah. All three of those right there, and uh, all three of those have uh, you know a stake in that territory that's right but the land was given by god to israel you can make all the the uh, negative comments you can make all the the human rhetoric that you want to god said it's yours to abraham and to your descendants forever and forever is forever that's right and they promised were promised a king that would come from the lineage of david that would rule forever 
And that was Jesus Christ. He is from the lineage of King David, and he will rule forever. And we're going to rule with him right there for right. a thousand years in Jerusalem. And I'm see, excited about that. It, it, it's, it's, and when that happens, Satan gets locked up for a thousand years. Yeah, that's the new Jerusalem. New Jerusalem. But, you know, right now, Jerusalem is tore up. It's tore up. It's tore up. They got war. They got fighting. And, you know, Jerusalem ain't, you know, some of them celebrate homosexuality. Some right, of them it's a the, very liberal it's nation. It's a very liberal. It's a lot like see, America. But see, if you go throughout the Bible, God always, you know, always punishes Israel. Yeah. Because of their disobedience and all that and their rebellion. And, you know, when that happens, then they try to they get straight for a little while, then they fall back. And it constantly going back and forth, back and forth. So there are still things that's over there that's not quite in check until God makes his way happen, which when he reigns a thousand years, because I really am looking forward to that. I really am. You I'm, and me I'm, both, brother. I'm, I, we don't know when it's going to happen. It could be two days from now. It could be an hour from now. It could be uh, uh, years from now. It could be 20, 40, 50, maybe 100 years now. We don't know. All we do is prepare. How do we prepare? Stay in the gospel. And, you know, I love we are, you know, for me, if I could have chose a time to exist and an age to be here, what, I would want to be, be I would want to be right here right now at my age. Because if I was 16 or 17, you know, young, dumb, just just busy in the world trying to figure out who I am, it wouldn't mean as much as it does to me right now well, to mean, have my head on straight about Jesus and about people and about the future. I don't know now because you, you got the some of these young people, they, they really on point with God, you know, I, I, for example, and then again, it, like you said, it could be the home who's in the home, like the father, and mother home who yeah. go to church and all that. But the lately, these last couple of teenagers I have ran into, they, they really know the word of God. They standing on the word. So you might be that 16 year old that might be seeing that, you know, I wouldn't say you wouldn't cause you started preaching at the age of 12 though. I mean, uh, I was 14. 14. I was 14 when I started preaching. Started preaching. So, but you know, when I first started at 14, I mean, I was 14 years. Old. I was a kid. Yeah. And so I did not and and didn't have my pastor at that time. He didn't do a lot of training on end time events. Yeah. And by the way, at that time there was not the going on yeah. like it goes on. Bro right brother, now. back then, if something happened, it happened every once every year, once every two or three years. Now it happens every day. Every There's day. an escalation. All the time. You know, it's like birth pains. You know, yes, that sir. first birth pain, a long time, maybe before you get the second one, that first kick, a long time before the baby comes. But right now, the baby is coming, y'all. I mean, <laughs> it, it's you're not even riding to the doctor anymore. You're sitting in a delivery room, and the baby is coming. Jesus is coming, and it's going to happen so very soon. And somebody said, how do you know that? All the signs are here. Every sign Every that I can think of that needs to be in place for the end times to really move into high gear is right here and it looks like this move of america putting our embassy there is is almost facilitating the rage that is boiling over there against israel and they're wanting to wipe them off the earth now until turkey sends out an invitation to uh, listen turkey has sent out an invitation ergeron if i pronounce it wrong you know it's come soon ergeron or whatever. Yeah, yeah, is. him, yeah. that guy. He sent out an invitation to all the Muslim nations that are all upset. Come to Turkey. We'll do something about it. Mm. Iran has already pledged troops to the cause. Hamas is already sending their rockets over to Israel, and Israel's already retaliating. They're marching in the streets. You said they were burning tires. Here's the crazy things about that. They burned them in their own town. Yeah, yeah, that's that, that, that's typical. So, so you're so, mad at Israel? You don't stink up your own, own town. town. <laughs> then you sit up there and want to go grocery shop. I'm like, oh shoot, well we can't go. We didn't close everything. We didn't burn they store down. They said in was it Asia that they shut the whole city down. There was one place in India. Yeah, it was. There was a place in India, India and where it they showed, shut everything down. Nobody they had locked stores, every, Yeah, they were everything. protesting by, see, by stopping commerce over there, like it was going to change something yeah, in Israel. And it's really hurting themselves. But see, that lets you know where we at in our in our walk with Christ when something like this happened, and it a reaction. There's a reaction from other uh, uh, other nations like uh, Islam and. Well, Islam, that's the only one. And how that in, that that gospel impact them because if we never would have done that, then everything would have been all right. But now this happened, there's an uproar. And in a way, it's kind of really feeding the Bible because 
we don't know we're going. It could start up the Garden of our War. Yes, it could. And that's it what could. I'm thinking about. So I, God has a hand. And, and some people say, well, this ain't good. You don't listen. Don't say what ain't good and bad. God is the one that's making these things happen. Yes. You know what I'm saying? We are getting for front row seats, guys, yeah. to the best show that's ever been on planet Earth. Yeah. But see, here's the thing. People look at us and they're like, what's wrong with them? See, the difference between us and y'all that's saying that we know where we're going if anything happens. Yeah, we, we know, know the end of the story. We know. The I end know of the where story. I'm going and know where we're going. We see that we we can we seeing the bad, but at the end we're going to see the the eternal part of it. And that's Jerusalem, man. That's Jerusalem. We are headed to the new Jerusalem. And by the way, in a couple of years, I'm hoping we have an American embassy. And if I'm still here, I want to go to Jerusalem. I want to go to the American embassy. I want to see the old city. My church uh, sponsors a missionary. They're uh -huh. in the old city. Listen to this. In the old city of Jerusalem. Brother, how blessed I would be to go and look at the old city. And then in a few years or whenever Jesus comes and he brings the new city, I'll say, Lord, I remember it when it was old. <laughs> you know, I I, I, Bishop went there. My pastor, he went to Israel and everything. And he went over there and man he said it was awesome he even went to the was it the black sea he said when well, you're standing like you almost standing on the water he said he seen you know the tomb where jesus was and yeah and all that i mean it's it is something that i would love to plan to go see and and see uh israel Jew. but i don't know if you want to go right now no, I don't want to go up. right now. I want to wait up, until the up. embassy is up. up yeah, because up, if the embassy is up, I won't have far to run. Because <laughs> if I get hey, to the embassy, brother, got, I'm an American. But, I'll hey, get on American well, soil. First, you, they, they might shoot you. You got to make sure you know who you are because they ain't going to be like, who that guy, crazy guy running over here for? Brother, my blue eyes and white skin and me waving American <laughs> yeah. hat, that's going to tell everything they need. And the southern accent, you can't fake a southern oh, accent. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Where things going at <laughs> I don't want to come back there. And, no, I ain't going to say that. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a good time. And we're excited. Somebody says, brother, you shouldn't be rejoicing. Jesus said, when you see these things come to pass, look That's up right. because your says, redemption man. draweth nigh. I'm happy about going home, y'all. Exactly. So these things are right on the verge of happening. There's two things that's converging. You know, there there is a, a link I, I almost share with the people. Tell them how to get there. You, you can go to uh, the seraphim this is a youtube channel go to the seraphim that's s-e-r-a-p-h-i-m just like the angels the seraphim and go there and you can look up this video and this video is called prophecy happening now 2017 mm -hmm. turning point for israel jerusalem division soon and uh this uh, the prophet's name if i can say it right if i can find it here so, prophet Sadhu Sundar, yeah, Savara. Yeah, you done killed that name. Okay, okay, sorry, but he's an Indian guy. You can tell he's an Indian guy, but he speaks oh, pretty yeah, good yeah, English. That's my buddy, yeah. And uh, he wears a long, flowing, orange-looking, yellowish-looking gown. But his prophecy, he prophesied about the uh, flood of Texas, and it came to pass. Oh, yeah. All right, now, now, he was on point about that. So when somebody's accurate with a prophecy, I listen to him. So he is saying... You know, there's two prophecies, two things that are happening right now. Number one, it's the 70 year prophecy from yep. uh, 1947 when yep. Israel took over Jerusalem. That's right. Or when Israel came into the That's Holy right. Land, into Jerusalem. All right, so you start the clock there and you add 70 years to it and you get 2017. So there's a 70 year prophecy being fulfilled. Yep. All right, but then the second part of that starts in the 50-year prophecy of 1967, which I was born in 1967. Ooh, and that was when the Six-Day War was fought, and Israel conquered the rest of Jerusalem. And right, that's, so the, now, that's when they inherited the uh, Gaza Bank. That's Yeah, and West Bank West and, Bank and Gaza, Gaza Strip. Gaza, so sorry, Gaza so Strip. They, they took over a lot of area in 1967 in the Six-Day War. What? They won that. So let me finish that up. I'm going to answer your question. So what happens is you start two clocks. One's a 70-year clock. One is a 50-year clock. And they both finish in 2017, right where we are right now. So why did Trump do this? Somebody said, why did Trump do it right now? Because if he had to wait to 2018, he would have missed the 50 and the 70 year mark. He had to do it before the end of the year. Uh, you think you think somebody told him to do that or just somebody with some, way up there yonder power? Yeah, I'm talking yeah. about God, Lord, mate. Yeah. Just like you said a while ago, things ain't happening just to be happening. No, it ain't. God's happening. making His timetable work. Yes, he is. Now, what was your question? 
my question, well, my answer was that, you know, when this war happened, you know, Israel had no other choice but to inherit uh, West Bank and all those other, you know, because the simple fact when they took the war, they took that land. It's like they, they inherited it. Well, they needed that land to yeah. protect their small community in Israel. It was like a buffer for them. Like, it was okay, a buffer zone. That's right. Yeah, so if, if they start attacking, we can fight it here instead of fighting in the country and destroy it all up. So Exactly right. And then, you know, <laughs> you know, people tend to get dogmatic. You know, they were like, well, you know, I don't know. Just, you know, me, my here's how I look at this. Like I said, I'm not real big into, um, you know, you know, learning that. That's something that I'm learning in process about Israel and and the guys a bit. I'm starting learning more about the feast days, which in our church we start, you know, my bishop been teaching and feast days and feast tabernacle. Everything happened for a reason. Amen. And God, the God I serve, he doesn't make no mistakes. He Amen. doesn't do anything that 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 hinders any um hinder his his own self because if God make a mistake, then God's a lie. God don't make a mistake. Can't it's, make a mistake. He can't it's make impossible. A it's impossible. So this stuff happened for a reason. Me as as a as a you know a believer, I sit back and watch and see what God does. I only you know where it's going to go, what's going to happen, how this affect. It may cause a war to happen, uh, which was that spoke in the Bible of this war. You know, it may cause changes in this country. You know, for as America. You know, and then it may cause the uprising. Uh, we don't know. All I know is that Jerusalem was always the capital, no matter what. Even before Trump said it, I knew it was the capital. Yes. My walk, my thing, Bible, even the Bible said it was the, the yeah, can't capital. Can't argue with God. You can't argue with that. In the book of Revelation, that's where Jesus would reign in. That's right. You know, so. I don't care who says what. Who God's says got what? the final God's word. God's got the final word. So, for some reason, Jerusalem was a place that everybody wanted. A small little place. A small, I mean, they Why does everybody want it? it? Fighting about this know, little tiny nation. Because they know this is a place of power, a place of anointing, a place where Jesus reigned. Amen. So, it, yes, why wouldn't the it, the, uh, the the, the uh, uh, Muslim would say, I want this land to show like, ah, ha, Israel, we got it. Yes, that land was taken away from it, but it was given back. It was taken away from it and it's given back. So now it's back, which it was already back. It's just that it took America to say, okay, this is the cap. Recognize it. Recognize Once we it. recognize it, exactly, brother, we opened a box we'll called a Pandora's box, and that thing was explosive and is exploding right now. Why do you want to play? You got a clip over yeah, there of headline news, end times exactly. news. Y'all listen to some of the headline clips that are going to be read here. This is going to help you understand what we're talking about. All right, here we go. Okay, here we go again accessible to all. As soon as I take office, I will begin the process of moving the United States ambassador to the city of Israel as chosen as its capital. I continue to say that uh, Jerusalem will be the capital of Israel, and I have said that before, and I will say it again. And Jerusalem will remain the capital of Israel. While previous presidents have made this a major campaign promise, they failed to deliver. Today, I am delivering. Wow. It is time to officially recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. Amen. And now the vision of protests are everywhere on the That's screen. Right. We'll have to tell them how to get this video as well. I will. The burning American flag, I'm telling you what I'm looking at, burn American flag, smoke in the cities from tear grass, people running down streets in panic, burning pictures of Trump, burning pictures of wow. that might have been not Yehu. Hamas leaders called on Palestine to launch a new infada on Israel. Best are the eyes that see what you see. Here we go. That's it. Here you go. Many kings and prophets have desired to see what very, you see. Very, very good. Uh, they and really not get seen it. on different things that happen in the world. To hear what you hear. So those of you know, it's called Soldier of God. And have not Soul, heard it. Uh, and so you hear. Of God. I thank you, Father for hiding these things from the learned and the wise and revealing them I love how out like to that. the innocent and the simple
Tonight, the violence President Trump was warned about. Protesters burning images of him after his announcement recognizing Jerusalem as Israel's capital. <laughs> Anger boiling over in the streets. Hezbollah's leader tonight blasting Trump, saying he fired the last bullet at the peace process. <laughs> Palestinians rejecting the president's declaration that Jerusalem is Israel's capital. You can see they have been lighting fires here. They're burning tires, using the smoke to provide a smoke screen. Palestinians threw stones at Israeli troops. The troops fired rubber bullets and tear gas. There's talk of a new uprising starting, what Palestinians call an intifada. They say they tried the peace process for decades, but that President Trump's comments show it didn't work. These marches will not stop until the liberation of Jerusalem. God willing, they won't only be in Gaza, but also in the West Bank and in the territories of 1948. In Ramallah, in the occupied West Bank, stone-throwing protesters sheltered behind tire smoke and improvised barricades. The Israeli military had mobilized thousands of extra troops in anticipation. There were similar scenes in Bethlehem. Just days ago, this city ushered in the Christmas season with fireworks. Now it's tear gas streaking the sky. Beirut, Lebanon. Across the border from Israel, there's anger over the U.S. decision to move its embassy to Jerusalem. Nearly half a million Palestinian refugees live here. And on Sunday, they were convinced their protests could bring change. Hundreds gathered near the U.S. Embassy. They tried to reach the complex, but were blocked by a gate and security forces with tear gas and water cannon. Several people were injured. For many, this is not a geographical issue, but a Muslim one. Istanbul transformed into a sea of Turkish and Palestinian flags. I feel like I should defend Palestine because I don't know any I don't know any other way to defend them so this is what I can do this is the least that I can do President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has been one of the most vocal critics of Trump's decision he's called for a summit of Islamic countries on Wednesday and in Asia a different language but the same words Jakarta Indonesia capital of the world's most populous Muslim country President Joko Widodo called on Muslim countries to unite and reject Trump's move. Indonesians voiced their anger outside the U.S. Embassy. Please, President Trump, use your brain. Do not push our anger beyond the limit. We're patient enough. America, please go back. Withdraw yourself from Jerusalem. Palestine belongs to Muslim people, not to America. Indians took a different approach. Residents closed their shops and abandoned the streets in Srinagar, the capital of Indian-administered Kashmir. And then Rabat, the Moroccan capital. They yell slurs against the U.S. president with banners that read, Jerusalem is the capital of Palestine. In the crowd are government ministers and officials. An army of pro-Palestinian protesters rolled down Cairo streets cell phones held high. The Muslim solidarity even spread to the embattled nations of Yemen and Syria. After more than a week since the presidential elections in Honduras, a winner has yet to be named, prolonging a political crisis. A nationwide curfew remains in effect, but across the country protests continue well into the night hours. In the latest turn of events, hundreds of elite police forces known as Cobras have announced they will no longer be obeying orders to enforce the 10-day curfew. One officer told reporters they are rebelling. Our people are sovereign and we are in their service. Furthermore, we cannot be confronting and crushing their rights. The ongoing demonstrations continue to call for Honduran President Juan Orlando Hernandez to step down. Demonstrations blocking roads and bridges are also having a significant economic impact across Honduras. Several cities are reporting fuel and food shortages, causing worry that the political crisis is only getting worse. It's not a matter of if, but when we go to war. North Korea's brand new chilling warning as the U.S. Air Force makes a show of force over the Korean Peninsula. North Korea says the United States is making war on the Korean Peninsula inevitable. 
North Korea's official KCNA news agency quoted an unnamed North Korean foreign ministry spokesman on Wednesday, December 6th. The spokesman said a joint U.S.-South Korean war exercises and recent remarks from U.S. politicians have, quote, made an outbreak of war on the Korean peninsula an established fact. The spokesman continued to say, quote, the remaining question now, when will the war break out? A U.S. bomber flew over South Korea on Wednesday as part of ongoing large-scale military exercises with South Korea. The military exercises are in response to North Korea's growing nuclear weapons program. After North Korea's latest ballistic missile test last month, the reclusive regime claimed it can now strike the entire U.S. mainland. Good evening. Nearly 8,700 firefighters are now battling six major wildfires burning tonight in Southern California. We will have much more on all of this in just a moment. But first, a very different side of nature, an early December snowstorm in an unlikely place, the Deep South. Snow fell from Louisiana to Georgia as much as a half foot in some spots. More than a quarter of a million homes and businesses lost power in seven states. The surprise snowstorm hit hard in the heart of Dixie. Wow. So that's just, you know, we got off track there just a little bit, but it's showing you things that are going on around the world. Brother, the world yes, sir. is going crazy. That's what it seemed like. And in America, we're holding hands and just singing along. A Coke and a smile makes you feel good, makes you feel nice. Have a Coke and a smile. My friend, the world is in a panic. The world is falling apart around you. You need to wake up, smell the coffee, and look up because Jesus Christ is coming soon. That's right. Now, there's a lot of things going to happen to Jerusalem. Watch Jerusalem. I'm saying, everybody, if you want to know where God's attention is, watch Jerusalem. And um, if you want to see this video, it's called Soldier of God. It's called End Time News, the past five days, 2017. I posted on the page so you guys can... um check it out very good it, uh, yeah and the, the videos it's, brother it's, and let's try to describe some of it for him because i, I mean, mean yeah this was this was tens of thousands thousand. of people in palestine in they, they india over 500 500 thousand people in one place in one place so i think that was i forgot it's the city but anyway yeah. all i'm saying is this it was hindu around the world around the world the muslims are taken to the street and I'm telling you, if there's one hated man in all the world, yeah, I can be. tell you it is Bush. I'm not, it is Trump. <laughs> yeah, they hate him. They, man, they hate for him. what he has done and the, the signal. Somebody says, well, it's not such a big deal. The signal that he sent to the world that America recognizes the right of Israel being a sovereign nation to declare where their capital is. And it's already there, by the way, their capital is. But we acknowledge them as a sovereign nation and they can define their own borders. You got to understand what he told them, that you get to decide Israel as a sovereign nation where your borders are and the rules and the laws protecting the coming and going across your borders. And the Palestinians in the world of the Islamic religion are falling apart. It's a demonic move. You understand you're talking about God's chosen people and you're talking about those that are trying to drive them out of the land that god gave them that's right no wonder it's such a battle going on and you know no wonder christians are having such a hard time there is a rise of iniquity in these last days and because of the rise of iniquity and the love of many waxing cold we are seeing the end time prophecies unfold right before our eyes you should have seen you got to go to watch the videos to yes, see to. to see the crowds and the the tear gas being shot and yeah it, it was mean, quite chaotic even you know the different things going on over there in uh what was country was a hindu uh, uh india about the, the president not doing what he's supposed to do telling him to be the people the fires in california which i was told you know and i won't you know facebook will check it out that that the fires that got so bad in california that those celebrities, the one that was trying to tell us how to live, like people like Oprah and Ellen DeGeneres and some uh, other people had to leave their homes. Yeah. Because the fire had got so much cold. And you think about that, 80 miles per hour winds. And fire. And fire. Now you, and you're talking about dry. Dry, dry. I mean, you dry talking about. Dry landscape. Dry landscape. Like flat a, landscape now. Well, that's, it's mountainous. A lot oh. of it is. But it's very I mean, it'll pick up. You remember when it burnt up here in North Carolina yeah. and in Tennessee? And how we got all, that wind brought all the it, smoke and yeah, smell over here. It jumped. I've been. I went up there that next uh, winter, mm -hmm. and I I seen where it jumped 
there would be no, this would be green and then right like a, somebody drew a line and this would be all burnt and then it would jump from this side of the mountain to that side because of the high winds mm-hmm. and that's what's happening in California. I think, it's, I think it's more than high winds, but I ain't going. We got some supernatural that, winds blowing yeah, the direction I, over there as, and there, yeah, putting that, direction to the fire. And see, here's the thing: anytime you reject God, I mean reject, and that's what Hollywood did, mm-hmm. rejected God. Oh, we don't need y'all. We want to do this way. We believe in homosexuals. We're going to make this. We're going to do that. God said, okay, you reject me, then I reject you. Now, in, in California, and I'm praying for God. I got a friend, my friend Jason, he lives there. He's out there preaching the gospel. I'm going to get him on the show one day. Yeah. And all it. the different things that he had to deal with, all the different types of a religion that people come to him and and these horrors and G.O. Witness and all the other folks. When he out minister, they come to him and try to tell him, oh, you wrong. When you reject God, God reject you. And that's what happened. 80 miles per hour wind. I mean, I can say it was a tornado. These just wind. Blowing fire. Blowing fire. Brother. That's Bro- like a furnace right out of the pits of hell being that's unleashed right. on California and headed towards L.A. L.A. Where it's all going- these big- Sin City. Sin City. And, and Sin City and Witchcraft City. Yeah. Because they do a lot of those rich roles and sacrifice they got a place over there they do in the woods where the police block around and all these elite big people go over there and they do all this rich roles and all this old stuff god said he is not putting up with it no more you reject him he gonna reject you just like he did israel yeah you know if god if god did it to his own people his own chosen people yeah. what you gonna think for people that don't believe in him He's judging sin right now, brother. That's he is right. pouring hey. out his wrath. And, you know, people can't see it. They it's can. just because they're spiritually blind. If you can't see what's going on in Israel, having a spiritual significance, if yep. you can't see in all the hardships that America's in right now, Man. somebody says America's doing good. Yeah, financially, yeah. financially we're yeah. doing pretty good. But we're on the brink of war in North Korea. Listen, it don't take but one war to, to the, uh, 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 collapse this country. One bomb. What, that's You're right. One bomb. One bomb. bomb. One good bomb, one good 9 11, yeah. which is coming. It's this shaking that's coming. And when, I'm not here to try to put a hey, list. I love America. I, I wouldn't be nowhere anywhere else but in America. That's right, man. But either. America have to repent. Yes. They have to do right. Now, we they doing, we, we doing some things good like we did in Jerusalem. Yeah, that is awesome. That's good. But you still have to repent, America. And defunding the U.N. was a great move on America's part because they were using American money right. to do abortions, to abortions overseas. Other, other yeah. and see, Praise the, God that we got that Nobody don't stopped. want to talk about that. Nobody wants to make a big deal about that. Nobody. I just, make a big deal. It, Thank it, you, just Jesus. Like, for example, I'll give you prime example, Pastor and I know I'm going to bring it up. Like all that slave trade. Yeah. That's happened over there in Libya. Human trafficking, Human trafficking is around the world at a record high. Yeah, exactly. The, they got Africans coming from Libya. They coming from uh, Somalia and all these countries. They come in, Lis- in, in uh, 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 Libya and they're being sold as slaves like it was way back in the day when this country first started. And that's what's happened over there. But do you see Black Lives Matter going over there? Protesting? Oh, no. Did no, you see no, that? no. They've Sean been trouble. Kim, over there. Sean Kim or whatever that guy going on put. No, you don't see nothing. Oh, it got to be a white man to do it. Slave is wrong. I mean, they hanging these people from Africa like they're hanging up chickens by the feet. Yeah. And guess who's doing it? The Muslims. ISIS. Yeah. But and no, then all those people around the world are lamenting because Palestine does not have Jerusalem. That's and exactly Palestine right. and, and the Jews are still on Palestinian territory. And, and they're doing atrocities. In the name of their God, That's in right. the name of their religion, they're doing atrocities around the world, and they want us to buy the lie that they are a peaceful religion. That, exactly. Uh, hello, you're a little bit late to tell us that lie because we look in all the ugly, nasty devastating Devastating death everything you can imagine that's ugly tormenting murdering raping uh kidnapping and you're doing all those things you also think you are a friendly peaceful religion uh listen i'm from the country but i didn't just crawl out from under a rock do you know the lifespan of a human trafficking is two years wow that's as long as they last it's two years as long as they last when they human traffic a person or this pedophile rain thing they doing 
And human trafficking only lasts two years because they beat them, got murdered. They get all the use out of them, they murder. That was a poll. And right now in the, in the, in the human trafficking is one of the biggest thing that's happened in America, it's happened in Europe. They saying people are disappearing. Don't yeah. never seen again. Never seen again, but we want to sit there and sit, well, it's all right. No, it's not all right. It's not all right. And God does not honor that. God, one thing that God told me he judging this nation on, he judging this nation on abortion. Yeah. He judging this nation on homosexuality because it is wrong. I don't care how many of y'all saying it's right. Oh, it's okay. God said it's an abomination. It's an abomination. And, 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 and sparing, and spilling innocent blood. God judged that. Yeah. Fornication. Sexual immorality. Sexual immorality. Yeah. God is judging nations. He's judging America. And when you sit there and you see things happen and you like, well, oh, that's all right. It's not all right. That's why we have, that's why we come in every Tuesday. We try to give y'all the gospel. We try to tell you what's going on. We don't want to, uh, me, it's like you telling your son, oh, son, it's okay to, to walk out on, on I-20. You can be all right. That's yeah. what you're doing. So now we, we trying to tell you, no, don't go out 20. Don't walk. It's dangerous. Danger, danger. And when this, when these things happen, man, we got to be aware. Like what happened right now in, in that should open up your eyes. What happened right now in Israel? I mean, if it was, if it wasn't such a big deal, then, hey, but why, the why whole, is it going on around the why world? Is why is all the protest? It, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. Such a small place. Plop, we talking about man, a on, tiny, bro. tiny, 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 tiny little place. Tiny and everybody place. fighting over Everybody's everybody upset fighting about over. it. So that tells you there's a significant. It's there a is, spiritual significance. That's right. Something there's nothing going, about the land. There's, not, there's nothing there that you can't find listen, anywhere else in the world. Listen, man, I seen land is beautiful. They As, go, and it doesn't, get, it doesn't get any more beautiful than North America. North, oh, come on, brother. It don't get any more beautiful than Brother, this. I went to North America. I mean, not North America, uh, 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 the mountains. I seen beautiful country land. I seen pictures of, I mean, but here it is, just, uh, this, this, this state. This is a paradise compared to the rest of the world. Yeah, Jerusalem. United States is. But Jerusalem is, is a sandcastle. It's a sandcastle. <laughs> but every, now they're blooming it. They're they're pu oh, pumping brother. the water out, and they're they're they are being blessed with agriculture, uh, and science and technologies. God is just pouring in the Amen. wisdom and the abilities to Israel, and uh, but they are a cup of trembling for all the other nations, and it just makes no sense to me. Except for one thing, it is God. It's God. That's right. It's a God and a spiritual thing between the forces of darkness and the forces of light. There's a war, and man is in the middle. That's right. He what? And you know what? And, and I asked God. I said, God, you, you show me what. I mean, what's what's really going on? I mean, you judging America? I, I know that, but I mean, is it so bad? And I've been doing the study, bro. Like, like, let's take for instance, uh, Lib uh, Libya. Mm -hmm. Now, you had Colonel Gaddafi. He was. It was over that nation. He was getting ready to take Africa, the country of Africa, and turn it into a a profit. He was getting ready to. Uh, 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 he had that trillion dollar water reserve. Yeah. He had um what to turn the currency into d dealing gold. Right, and, and he was already doing that. That's right, and that's why the banking system got involved. Got involved that's why America it. got involved. That's because why Hillary America Clinton wanted, got involved. America wanted to shut she him was down. The Secretary of Same State. thing with Saddam Hussein. Same thing with Saddam. And we listen. We the one that put Saddam in, and say in charge over there. Yes, we did. It we was a put puppet. him in there. We placed him where we wanted. We placed him. What? And Same. we took him out when we was done with him. And God said, "This is this what you call spilling spilling innocent, innocent blood. blood and using people, Use, America, politics, right. and politicians." Uh, have used people brother we use our own people that's right they use our young men and women that we sent they go to service they sign up to do their job and then our government because now they're working on their government paycheck that's right they send them to do things these boys and girls know it's wrong they know it's guard wrong. the poppy field so the cia can come and take it exactly. they know they're wrong they but what wrong. can they do so they're using them they're trafficking our kids in the military exactly. a lot of times i'm not saying don't send your kids in the military i'm saying you need to know more than more what they, tell, they you. tell you because you your listen when you sign on the dotted line you'll go have and to do you, things you and, don't want to do that's right you i'm telling you I've, I've i've talked to these men they've done and women they've talked they've done things they didn't want to go do, do but they, and they, they had to do these things and they, that's their job it was what they signed up and that's it was right. either that or court martial that or dishonor discharge that or time in 
you know, the prison system. Now, listen, we I love America, but America have to get if we can just get the outside, which is all these uh, Rockefellers and Rothschild that, that start trying to tell us how to run our country and all that, then we can be all right. But we can't do that. We got to have. And then, too, we in debt by helping other people trying to get themselves together. Yeah. And we got enough mess at our front door we shouldn't be helping many people have, except until we get our nation get straight our nation now, now I'm, I'm i'm all for charitable acts I, i'm all too. for helping feed too. the hungry take care of the things that need to be taken care of but brother america <laughs> america needs attention to some of america's business especially about this immorality going on oh yeah and this, uh, this trial child uh sacrificing going on it's, hey th- let me just throw some things out there and we'll, we're gonna be out for it in just a minute uh-huh. just found out the other day japan is selling human meat in restaurant yes, I heard did you see that, that? this is that. how they're doing it somebody say you know we need three hundred thousand dollars six hundred thousand dollars maybe grandma's old maybe grandma will will sign a waiver when she dies that this restaurant will get her body and they'll go ahead and give you the three hundred thousand or six hundred thousand right. dollars for your body. immediate need and then when she dies because there's no law against it nope. in in the oriental custom there is no law against eating human meat so they take these people when they die and they serve them up and what does the bible say as it was in the days Days of of noah Noah. so you know in the days of noah if you read the book of enoch you find out out that there was cannibalism everywhere and covered the earth the cannibalism did so we're returning to the days every all of these are signs they doing it that's what these elites doing that's what all the human trafficking they taking these children and eating them because it's a ritual it's a delicacy it, it says, Let me it, tell you the way they Katie, do it. Can Katie, I tell you? Katy Perry bragged about eating eating human human uh, meat because it give them their 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 elevation of what Satan. It makes you. I'm like brother. They have a chemical. It's called adrenochrome. Mm-hmm. Adrenochrome. They use these children, these abducted children, these That's child right. they tra- sure do. Uh, trafficking children and adults. Anybody they can take that person and then traumatize them. I mean, traumatize them yep. with pain, with fear with anxiety and brother this is disgusting but i want to tell the people what's going on in america and across the world and it's called adrenal chrome it is a drug they even mentioned in one of the the, the newest releases in a video i've seen that yeah adrenal chrome and that uh <coughs> adrenaline is gathered up at the base of the neck and uh-huh. t- ties to the spine and what they do listen they terrorize this child as long as they can as, as much as the child can take it and then they kill the child and they drain the adrenal the uh adrenal chrome yep. out of the base of their wow. neck and they can inject it in themselves and they say it is the best high that they've ever had and then they eat the child's flesh mm-hmm. and drink its blood because That's- it is the strength that they need to enjoy that high it is barb somebody says Pastor, you went over the edge then. Yeah. You just get your head out from under the rock. No, this is true. And you just began to do your own little Re- research. There you go. And and prove me wrong. I challenge you to, to prove, prove me prove wrong. Prove us wrong. Hey, the when I started looking up on this stuff and I wanted to ask God, I said, God, why are you judging this country? I know you're judging all the other countries. I see that. But why America? I got in research. I learned so much stuff. To some of the stuff, I'm going to be honest, I'm scared to say on the radio. Yeah, that was one of them right there. I mean, this that was one right. There. We don't know, and I'm telling you, you want you want to be for real, for real. That shooting happened in Las Vegas. I heard 18 people already has died, the survivors, because they say, hey, that yeah, shooting what? did not come from the, the That's hotel. That's exactly right. It came from somewhere, and these, they find these people dead in their homes. Yes. Now they're I, trying I, to silence the witnesses silence. who prove now, it was a setup. Exactly. Now I don't know. I made. I'm. I'm. I really don't. Maybe I don't know what's gonna happen by me saying that, which I'm believing cover. Maybe somebody's gonna get <laughs> for real and do That's your own right. investigation. They do your research. There's a lot of things that is happening. Don't now, take CNN, come on, man. M- MNBC, Fox, all of don't don't take them at their word. You need to get alternative ways to educate yourself because they're feeding you an agenda they want you to believe and you know what they call it they call it propaganda it's no longer news it's a propaganda stage to get you to believe something so you'll act and think a certain way it's called mind control that's right hello we we went down the rabbit hole then yeah we we sound like project seer (laughs) (laughs) like i said i didn't know anything about this african slave thing until 
I got on Facebook and then I like, oh, this is brother. I looked it up and it was real. Mm-hmm. But you don't hear them. Oh, I saw the little CNN news they talked about. I saw, but you you don't hear it all over the news. Now they up there with the scene um, of, of Libya. Well, we're gonna deal with it. With the talking with the UN. Okay, you need to do yeah, something. United about it. Nations ain't gonna do that. We gotta land the plane. Yes. I can't believe our hour is gone. And we and I want to do some phone calls. There, can you believe that? Well, we're sorry about the phone calls, oh, y'all. We got really time. excited, but thank you for sticking with us here on the <laughs> on ninety nine point nine WCC, our program in the last days. And we did do some last days coverage tonight. Yes, we did. Some good so uh, review this again. It's going to be posted on your Facebook page. And I'm a, Facebook page. I'm gonna work on getting it on YouTube. I, I know a lot of our YouTube listeners like, what happened to all? The, RPI is working on it. I'm working on it. RPI is working on it. So we thank you for listening. And you know, turn your life over to Jesus right now. Yes, sir. Go ahead and do it. Don't wait any longer. Go ahead. Turn your life over to Jesus right now. He's ready to save you. He's ready to help you. And he'll turn your fear into joy. That's right. He can change everything about your life. So let him have your life. What do you say, brother? My word is today. Stop watching these fake news and listen to God news. Amen. So I've been Pastor Steve Hall from the Johnston Church of God. This is Minister RPI, Radio Pastor Isaac. We want to thank him for doing the controls tonight. And we want to thank you, our listeners. If you want to sponsor this program, you can just let us know here at the studio. Just call us in. Let us know you want to sponsor. We'll get you a package to you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Till we see you next week, same time, same channel. This is Pastor Steve Hall. Turn your life to Jesus. You don't see nothing happening. Amen.